Hi there, this is Thermos Jar, and um, welcome to part 2 of the video that I was creating on specific personalities on the internet. Well, specifically why I chose to make two-parter is very simple. I can't just talk a lot about these people because I'm giving the publicity just so I can uh, somewhat, whoever comes across this video or the previous one, to understand that these predatory individuals should be avoided, not encouraged to grow, and they're really dangerous people. So let's recap the first video. We spoke about Boogie, which is uh, a very famous and long-term YouTuber. He's probably 17 years on the platform, and his whole his uh, story is uh, surrounded by lies, scamming, fraudulent activity, and he is really good at it. Pretty much that's his demeanor. Like if you technically know and you have brains, you d you don't fall for that kind of stuff with these people, but there's plenty of gullible people who fall for it and he is going to manipulate them till the end. So that's about the first part. There's not much to talk about that cow. Let's move to the second part of the video. So finally we reached the second part of the video. And I'm going to talk about the recently famous PDF file. Well, this is a dangerous topic because it's it's a combination. It, the final boss with the most insane combination. Gay transgender. Yeah, it's it's insane. It's it's a difficult topic. But this person has been creating really small pockets of pleasure for himself on the internet. Where he utilized his influence on younger people to practically enroll them into these small uh, sex chambers in a way. Where he could exchange really dirty shit with them and, and see the reactions. Obviously this is a small gay teenagers and... And they couldn't help it but enjoy the attention and opportunities that this person was giving them. Considering he was working for one of the biggest YouTubers on the on the planet Earth, practically. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. This is a small circle jerk of teenagers with the one adult that was coercing them in the background. And there's practically plenty of information now on the internet because everything came out. There was a whistleblower... He practically opened up, then the chain reaction, rest of them opened up, and there you go. We're here talking about the personality of Chris Tyson, a transgender man who has actually children, and he's doing really good examples. Not to mention he was once upon a time affiliated and a big fan of uh, another very controversial individual called Shadman, who from what I understand and what I learned was drawing really fucked up pictures of, well, sexual nature, obviously. And um, if you have proper brain cells and you haven't been uh, degenerated into rot in your brain, you should not watch that. Because that's some shit over there. I, I watched YouTube videos on that person. It's clearly a very a dangerous personality as well. But... You know what they say, rotten, rotten core attracts uh, not rotten cores, because that's how things corrupt. What's rotten corrupts what's not. In this case, it's a very good example of what you should not strive to be and how, what to avoid at all costs. He was never professional, he was always looking for himself, and in the end he got caught by exposing his inner demons on the internet. Good thing the internet doesn't forget. This will finally stay in the records forever. So, yeah. Another note is that this individual actually bought some really fucked up pictures on the internet from the same Shad Man. And hanged them on, this, on his uh, room wall where the rest of the Mr. Beast cast actually seen. I actually have a little clip. Of this, which is actually actively being deleted from the internet. Uh, so, I am not gonna spend an hour talking about Chris Tyson. I will not, because this is a really bad individual, needs to be completely rubbed out of this world 
in a way maybe put in jail or somewhere but shouldn't exist especially around children that's my take on it but there's another topic i want to talk a big one actually and it so finally we reached the second part of the video and i'm gonna talk about the recently famous pdf file well this is a dangerous topic because it's uh, it's a combination it, the final boss with the most insane combination gay transgender yeah it's it's insane it's it's a difficult topic but this person has been creating really small pockets of pleasure for himself on the internet where he utilized his uh, influence on younger people to practically enroll them into these small uh, sex chambers in a way where he could exchange really dirty shit with them and and see the reactions obviously this is a small gay teenagers and and they can not help it but enjoy the attention and opportunities that this person was giving them considering he was working for one of the biggest youtubers on the on the planet earth practically and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it this is a small circle jerk of teenagers with the one adult that was coercing them in the background and there is practically plenty of information now on the internet because everything came out there was a whistleblower he practically opened up then the chain reaction rest of them opened up and there you go we're here talking about the personality of chris tyson a transgender man who has actually children and he's doing really good examples not to mention he was once upon a time affiliated and a big fan of uh, another very controversial individual called shadman who from what i understand and what i learned was drawing really fucked up pictures of well sexual nature obviously and um if you have proper brain cells and you haven't been uh, degenerated into rot in your brain, you should not watch that. Because that's some shit over there. I, I watched YouTube videos on that person. It's clearly a very a dangerous personality as well. But you know what they say. Rotten, rotten core attracts uh, not rotten cores. Because that's how things corrupt. What's rotten corrupts what's not. In this case, it's a very good example of what you should not strive to be and how, what to avoid at all costs. He was never professional. He was always looking for himself. And in the end, he got caught by exposing his inner demons on the internet. Good thing the internet doesn't forget. This will finally stay in the records forever. So, yeah. Another note is that this individual actually bought some really fucked up pictures on the internet from the same shad man and hanged them on this on his uh, room wall where the rest of the Mr. Beast cast actually seen. I actually have a little clip of this, which is actually actively being deleted from the internet. Uh, so I am not going to spend an hour talking about Chris Tyson. I will not because this is a really bad individual needs to be completely rubbed out of this world in a way maybe put in jail or somewhere but shouldn't exist especially around children that's my take on it but there's another topic I want to talk a big one actually and it's Jimmy and Mr. Beast brand itself so this last part of this video is about Jimmy stay tuned so second part of the video finally arrived and we're gonna talk about jimmy the saga that recently is on fire due to all the controversy thanks to chris tyson so who is jimmy it's it's a character he's a youtube celebrity he he created mr b's brand and he's practically considered to be one of the biggest and most highly praised youtubers on the platform and probably in the world and he achieved that by himself with uh, help of his uh, crew that he collected alongside but now since the crew is more likely just yes men and and just employees since amazon picked him up i'm coming back to yes men 
Jimmy, as a golden boy, surrounds himself with one type of people only. Yes, man. Clearly, he's an employer. He does that. He needs people to listen to him. But it creates interesting elements in social hierarchy. These yes men will always do whatever he says. There is no answer. Like, legit, you can't say no. Because if you're going to say no, you're going to fall into that second type, which is undesirable, who say no. They're least like. They don't get bonuses. They less than. They don't get even to be called into filming. They get less work, and sometimes they don't even get paid. Now I want to talk about what I saw in that video. By the way, link uh, the video I got all my information from is from this YouTube channel. I watched his works recently. It seems like he's an ex-employee. And most likely, it's uh, a disgruntled employee, by the way. So, there was this bit. Uh, the dude had a, a car ra wrecked by Jimmy with some kind of meteor thing. And they offered him 10k. And the guy chose a car that is below 10k, but it's not a shitbox. It runs well. He had enough money to cover some repairs and for insurance. And those people say that why you didn't get a better car. You're sitting there and if if somebody would ask me that, I would be like, what do you mean? That's the best I can get for the money you gave me for that car that you crushed. The crude and those bits that Jimmy creates, you know, for the videos is surrounded with uh, mismanagement and complete incompetence from the crew side. The guys who actually build that stuff because there's a lot of reports where silenced reports just so you know where people get hurt people get um, injured people get i know hurt and injured is the same thing but poisoned and in general a lot of danger surrounding the situation is there but it's being silenced the whole thing with you know people being trampled during events uh unsanitary conditions in closed environments uh being sick and not allowed to do anything about it it's just there and it's not finally it's being talked about when i figured that out that's holy shit imagine being employed and being treated like worse than an a farm animal but then again what <laughs> what actually in the end impressed me is one of these employees during the bit wrote down his youtube channel on a whiteboard and they stormed in. They stormed in and fucking deleted that. So that he doesn't get exposure. That was beautiful to watch. Because you show it shows that they do not want the brand, the whole brand itself, do not want anybody to get, become big so that they can talk negative about Mr. Beast. They're protecting. They're trying to make sure that nothing comes out. Speaking about nothing come out. There's a, uh, you know, scorched earth policy going on. Jimmy and his crew is literally going back in time, as in back in time, going back in the logs, checking every single video and scrubbing existence of people that he doesn't want to be affiliated with. Chris Tyson is one of them. All of the videos that have certain fucked up shit that happened recently being removed, edited, and fixed. Not to mention those fucking lottery scams of his. That too. And people, if you're commenting something negative related to the topic, expect your comment to go away. Because there's some person or a bot behind the scenes looking at your stuff and deleting it. Like I said, this is a vast ocean of dirt and mud and shit. I want to conclude something today. And sum it up, actually. Actually, let's sum it up because it's going to get too long and... What's the point? You can you can literally research some of this by yourself and have more fun than me telling you everything about it. So, sum up. Jimmy and Mr. Beast. Thanks to Chris Tyson, this brand is fumbling down. It's splitting in half and the, it, what's inside is leaking out. I hope that uh, there is some justice on this planet, on this earth. And... Uh, those people will be punished and it will reach instances where uh, authorities, specifically law, 
enforced authorities will crack down on them. But knowing that Jimmy is a fucking most likely a billionaire by now, he'll buy his way out. But his cadres, his uh, underlings, I hope they burn for what they did. Especially you, Chris Tyson. This was Thermos Jar, and I'm over and out. Have a nice weekend. Goodbye.